Resident Evil. Let's see what's behind. Door number creepy. <laughs> oh, especially creepy because it's gone back to the close-up and the heart throbbing. Ooh, three views of the bo of the door. Getting fancy. Oh god, no. They are going to attack me. Okay. Okay. No. Okay, I cannot for the life of me tell where these guys are in like space. So, okay. Gotta rethink my plan of attack. By the way, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with me, Oix Fu. We're up at the creepy mansion on top of the hill. I'm having a whale of a time. Cause... Bats. And cause I don't want to go back down to the old mansion. Oh god, I didn't save at the last mansion. Okay, run, Claire. No, do not get stuck in between a table and a ca and a and a, two end tables. Okay, stone figurines and images are placed on this table. Nothing useful here. That's nice to know. An assortment of creepy dolls are showcased here. Perhaps those are they, these are to the liking of the resident. Shoot that bat! Shoot that bat! That you did not shoot that bat. And I hit X again because I'm a dumb butt. No. These bats will not give up. No, I would <sighs> can't even escape on the stairs. No. 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 That's not a door. No. No, I'm going to die from bats. This is worse than crows because they can see in the dark. No, it's just a gauntlet of bats. Gotta make it. Gotta make it. Come on. Is that a... Yes, it's a first aid spray. Please give me the time to use it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Also, that is a, a creepy statue. Glad I got to look at it. No, no. Okay, we made it. Just barely. Oh god, we just barely made it. Keep focused, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? What is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Certainly not going to actually check it. Because, you know, who would be up here? Oh, cool. A large-sized doll, possibly custom-made. So, in case this couldn't get any creepier, I mean, I'm not usually one per a person to get creeped out by dolls, but... Eh, I mean, they, they can be just as creepy as the next... the next thing, so... Also, I guess green herbs just littered on the floor. Nice. Anyway, okay. So it seems Alexia is the one pulling the strings, then? Cool, no one seems to be inside. Very nice. A bus, there seems to be nothing unusual about it. Come on, check underneath for a, a red button or something. Ooh, more pistol ammo. I'm assuming something terrible is going to happen as soon as we go in. History is a topic of many of these books. Professional biology books are piled up here. Books on chemicals are piled up here. Jeez, Alexia, are these all your... your books? Doing some pretty heavy scholarship up here. I don't mean, like, pretty heavy as in, like... unusually large amounts. I mean, just, like... That seems to be a lot of... 
hard science books in one place of very varying uh, not professions but fields I'm getting out the pistol just seems like a better idea so what what can we find in the room where they were chatting also is there another door in this room I want to know that first oh it appears to be a relief it seems to be a woman's back Oh. So is this one of their bedrooms? The music box is locked. The music plate inside has been pulled out. Blue sapphire is embedded by an opening. Hmm. Well, too bad we don't have anything to put in there. Nothing useful. No. Oh, I thought that was a person for a second. You could have used some hang clothes on. Anything in here useful at all. Can I just take a little little nap. No. <laughs> okay, so... Nothing useful, nothing useful. I'm gonna assume that this room is Alfred's and the room next door is Alexis's? Maybe? And that they go between them by, like, a secret door hidden in that relief? Makes sense to me. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. Are you scared yet? I know I am. Oh god, I can't take the tension. Well, seems I was right. Alexis does seem to be one of those creepy doll... Or, not Alexis. Oh god, I've, I've been calling her Alexis all this time. Alexia's. Oh. So that's where they went. Just... Upstairs? <laughs> you know, uh, Alexia, you might want to... Very nice. Something is written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue King return. The path opens. Stop the music box. Not yet. But, uh, you know, Alexi, you might want to put a mattress down or something. Might be a good idea, that's all. Alright, let's go see what's upstairs first, shall we? Oh, it's been sealed. Never mind. Alright, so let's check that again. Red Queen and Blue King return, the path opens, stop the music box. And we get a key! Cool! And we just trapped Alexia and Alfred up on the roof, which means we can now just go about our business without being disturbed, right? Well. Okay, so we need... wait, wait, wait. Ah, we need the jeweled ant from uh, the war memorabilia room, it seems. Looks like we're not going to be coming back here for a while, though. I'm assuming this is one of the more final areas of the game, then. I'm also waiting for an enemy to pop out. Of somewhere. I don't know where, just somewhere. Alright, I want to look at that relief again on this music box. Oh, it's also the Jeweled Ant. So... Red King and Blue... or Blue King and Red Queen align, the path is open, so we have to find two of the Jeweled Ants, I'm assuming. Well, first, we get to run by some bats! Oh boy, my favorite part of the game. Outrunning enemies that can follow you anywhere and are really hard to hit. Oh, that wasn't as high up as I thought it was. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I 
didn't want to die. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> My hands are all sweaty. Ew. Can't help it. I'm frightened. I really like that statue. It's just cool looking. Yeah. Alright, so there's a red herb back in the training facility. We have a blue herb and a green herb on us. I'm trying to remember... Is that something I can pick up? No. I'm trying to remember if there are any other herbs that we need, or we can get. Not that we need. Well, we need them because we're going to die otherwise, but... Uh... Oh yeah, this is just open. <laughs> I'm like, okay, where's the door? Okay, back in here. I'm gonna save. Because, oh god, I need to save now. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. No, no, no. Well, yes, because... No. I'm too hasty pushing the buttons. Too impatient. Uh, we don't need any of that. I'm assuming not. We don't need the fire hydrant any, or not fire hydrant, uh, fire extinguisher anymore. I'm assuming that's just. Well, I don't know why we're holding on to that. All right, let's check this first. Silver key. Oh, a key made of pure silver. The Ashford family's crest is carved on it. That's the key for down here. Hmm. Yeah, let's use an ink ribbon. I'm, I'm just deciding. Do we want to? continue looking around here, or we, do we want to go back to the original military installation we were at? Use the crest, give the guy the homeostatic medicine. Hmm, I'm, I'm gonna say let's backtrack a little first, so I'm gonna drop this off. Keep the crest, drop that off. Oh, we're gonna have... Hmm... Wait a minute, I want to check this case. Didn't it say there was a keyhole? Secured by- oh, lockpick, we need that. Damn it, where's Jill when you need her? Or do we have to bring this to Steve and he has a lockpick or something? Hmm. Oh wait! Those gun parts aren't yeah, because these are pistols, aren't they? Yeah. So wouldn't we want to bring that back to back to that uh the handgun place and tune those up a bit? Not quite yet. I'll remember though. Hopefully, probably not. I'll try to remember. See if those are the handguns that we can use with that. I'm assuming it's a magnum or something we're gonna find. And use that. Because, I mean, every Resident Evil game has a magnum, right? Right? That's what I've been led to believe. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Missed me. <gasps> He's coming down the stairs! <laughs> I was so wrong earlier! Oh god, that was a creepy image, actually. But no, when I was like, Oh, zombies can't go downstairs, it's their one weakness. Oh god, they can go downstairs. <laughs> oh. Maybe that sound, the ting, is just the moths hitting against the glass. Okay. So I'm really hoping that we can take out these guys with just the pistol, and I don't need those semi-automatic recoilless pistols. Actually, that would be nice. Nope, they're right there. I was gonna say, it'd be nice if they had to come up again. Try run past this guy. Oh boy. You have quite the reach. 
Oh, come on, Claire. Come on. No! I saw that coming. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we took them out. With extreme prejudice. Ooh, we wasted a lot of ammo, though. Ah, well. It's all worth it in the end, right? Okay, we're just on caution. I can check, because I have a Dreamcast. <laughs> okay, they're going to be down here, though, aren't they? Oh, they're going to be down here. Next, ah, oh, it's going to be crazy, though. A zombie going downstairs. Next, we're going to have zombies climbing up boxes, going through doors. Madness. What's going to be next? Zombies driving jeeps. Submarines, airplanes. Oh, what a mad, mad world we live in. Well, Claire lives in. I mean, besides the fact that, you know... Zombies. No. Come on. Well, there we go. Took a few more bullets than I expected it to, but he's... they're dead. Well, he's not. Finish him off with bowgun darts. I mean, it gets the job done. Just takes a while to do it. Uh, it's also nice we don't have to reload it. Okay, we're gonna run past you. Because there is absolutely no reason to fight you. <laughs> okay, but that means we have to get past three of these guys again. I... So, let's see. Where are you? There you are. Shoot you in the butt. <laughs> well, it works, it works kind of well against those guys, so... Uh. Oh, it, it uses a lot of ammo, though. Eh, good thing there's a lot of ammo to go around. I think I'm just going to use it against zombies, though. I hear that last guy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. Just going to ignore you. <laughs> there's no need to fight you. All right, back to the very beginning. Still can't tell what that is on the ground. Oh well. How much that was like a person's shattered skull I was just stepping on. Okay, don't be dead. Please, don't be dead. Oh, you're what are not you doing here. Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Now get back in your cell. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Yes, yeah. go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Eh? Now eh? Go. Don't worry about me. What we get? Yeah, lockpick. Exactly what we needed. He's dead, isn't he? What are you still hanging around for? Get out of here. <laughs> There's a cutscene just for that. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> you can take care of yourself. You showed me how much you can take care of yourself when, you know, I had to save your ass. Alright. Oh, it unequipped our bow gun. I'm gonna see you guys next time. And let's blindly play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Mio Fu. 
Now we've got the lockpick, we can open that duraluminum case. And isn't duraluminum the material that we made the last crest out of? I'm assuming we have to use again. Maybe to make a copy of that ant. I'm assuming the eagle crest we picked up is a way for us to get around the metal detector. There we go. Getting the hang of this. <laughs> okay. Like I said, I'm going to see you guys next time. Take it easy.